Hey, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I've got a really fun find for you guys. It is a Pixco 8mm fisheye lens and it fits on a micro four thirds mounting and it's actually intended for closed circuit TV usage. So it's an incredibly cheap lens. It's like $60 online. It's got all of its uh, f-stop controls and focus controls right here on the lens. And of course being 8mm, that's effectively like a 16mm fisheye to normal lensing. So I decided, if we're gonna try this thing out, let's have some fun and go somewhere kind of fun to take weird fisheye photos. And what better place than here at the Silicon Valley Comic Con? So let's go inside and take some shots and check it out. I'll tell you what I find out. Come on. Hey, before I start talking about shooting fisheye photography, I just wanted to remind you guys, you don't specifically have to have a fisheye lens, a proper fisheye lens to shoot fisheye photography. They make uh, snap-on lenses for things like smartphones and give you fisheye effects. And they also make fisheye screw-ons that screw onto your filter threadings of your existing lenses. So if you don't want to invest in getting a uh, lens specifically designed for shooting fisheye photography, there are a lot of ways of doing it uh, that are on the cheap, that are fun and easy. And the only thing I want to warn about is if you do get the screw-on fisheye lens, which is where I started out years ago, uh, it has some chromatic aberration on the edges where the colors shift a bit, um, which you can kind of fix in post, but you know, I recommend looking around for a cheap, dedicated, like 60 millimeter lens if you wanna try shooting some fun fisheye photography. So let's get started. So here's the first shot I got when I was in line, uh, this fun Harley Quinn girl. Uh, I wasn't thinking about shooting yet, so of course I pulled like a Barney Rebel and I had my finger in front of the lens, which was stupid. But I just wanted to show this to remind people that when you do shoot a camera lens that's this wide, uh, be really uh, aware of your own body and not getting your feet and fingers in the shot like I did like a moron here. But I digress. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty tall, I'm about six feet tall. So using a fisheye lens on her gives it a fun, exaggerated look to her already kind of kooky Harley Quinn costume. So that's one of the first reasons to start thinking about shooting with a fisheye is because you get a really fun effect that just amplifies things so much uh, in ways that other lenses won't get you. This costume was super cool. The, the girl inside was probably super hot though. I can only imagine it was like wearing this thing all day. Once again, the fisheye lens uh, kind of bulbs everything out. So her already crazy man spider limbs just looked all that much more, you know, exaggerated with the fisheye. Uh, just very cool costume, very fun to shoot. Once again, the fisheye lens here was just a fun effect. It makes his, his ride on T-Rex just feel that much more, you know, fantastically weird. There's a little cheat here. I did go in and I did sort of brighten up his eye area because his pith helmet just dropped all that into too much shade. So most of these shots are pretty much out of the camera. Uh, this one I did go in and kind of bring his eyes back because his eyes are getting lost in shadow. But once again, it just makes these shots so much more fun. It just brings your focus right to him uh, shooting with a fisheye lens. It's Barf. He's a mog. He's his own best friend. This of course is Barf from Spaceballs. Uh, this is a great costume too. Uh, I loved his little Eagle 5 like walker thing he had. And I went a little wider here. I, I stepped back a little bit more, get a little more of him in frame. And I just like the way that the, uh, the curvature kind of just draws your eye to him. It's a fun sort of feeling. It's almost like a tunnel vision that just brings the viewer's eye straight to him, which is another fun aspect of shooting fisheye photography. Okay, this is probably hands down the coolest thing I saw at the show. This is not a great photograph. I'm not really showing you this for its photographic merits, but uh, this was some sort of weird viral marketing. Uh, if you want to look it up, Google or hashtag who is the bunny or who is bunny. I think it's who is the bunny. Mm. It's some sort of strange Uzi wielding assassin robotic rabbit that's six feet tall and the whole head was articulate and they had this voice changing uh, system inside. You can kind of see on her on her left shoulder on the right side of frame uh, the battery pack or was plugged into. It was a very cool costume and probably the coolest thing I saw at the show was this strange sort of viral marketing for who is the bunny. So check it out if you get a chance. Hey, it's Cha-Cha looking for number five. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out uh, The Umbrella Academy on Netflix. It's a great show. Uh, she's dressed up like Cha-Cha, one of the futuristic assassins. Uh, but I won't say more spoilers than that. So it's a fun show. She had a great look, great costume. Um, she was actually very funny for looking so, so grim and serious here. But once again, using a fisheye lens is sort of, you know, sets your focus on her face and the, the helmet and then the feet kind of drop off. Um, you know, I'm like I said, I'm six feet tall, so I have a very high angle on things. But uh, if, you, if you're not six feet tall, uh, you can always just hold your camera up over your head and kind of angle it down. Or if you have a tilt screen, get an idea what you're looking at. But it was very cool, very fun. Uh, being a manual lens, you know, you have to go in and use zebras and just sort of hand focus. It only took a second to get shot, but it was, it was worth it. It was very cool. 
Oh, this guy was great. This guy uh, had a fantastic Xenomorph costume, and he had this sort of party favor tongue he would blow out, which was really, really kind of awesome. And like I said before, you can't quite tell, but I'm super close to him. I'm probably only about a foot away or so from that, that tongue. But since the 16mm fisheye is so wide, you have to get in close to get these, these shots. And then I did a little manual focusing. Uh, what you don't see on the other side of his head is that he actually had his xenomorph head signed by every member of the film Aliens and sort of silver sharpie. He had everybody except for Sigourney Weaver and Ridley Scott. You see, he's trying to get them next, but really cool costume, really fun, fun guy. Once again, I love the fisheye effect you get shooting something like this. Okay, now this is not here because it's a great photo, but this is just a neat fact I learned at the show. So this is a replica of the Mars Curiosity rover and the thing was huge. It was like the size of a VW Beetle. It was the size of a small car. And I thought it was amazing. I mean, usually when you see photos of the of the Mars rover, you, you get a feeling like it's the size of a, a large dog, like a Labrador Retriever or something. But this thing was huge. I couldn't believe the scale of it. It was so cool to see this thing in the, in the proper scale. So just a little fun fact, a little fun science tidbit for you guys that the Curiosity rover is huge. And uh, I was not expecting that. It was so cool. Okay, once again, this is why you shoot a fisheye lens, Doc Ock, with his awesome tentacles kind of arcing up into frame, and it just gives you a really, really great look. I showed this guy the shot after I took it, and he was like, whoa, you know, because it just really accentuates this costume, you know, which, which looked good on the floor, but looked so much better uh, at this angle, like a stylized sort of character photograph. And if you're, if you're a photographer and you work weddings or other events, you know, a fisheye lens is a great thing to have on a second little burner camera. Like this is on the YIM-1, um, shooting indoors at like an 800 ISO. And it's just a fun thing to have. So if you do any kind of event photography or if you want to do things like that, it's a great type of fisheye. This is just in here because I love their costumes. I've never seen anybody cosplay Leon and Matilda from The Professional and they were all in. And they were really great, so I thought I'd include it, but it was a really great, great fun idea for a costume. So this is just really for me. I thought they were great. He even had a little uh, pig oven mitt he pulled out and did the whole thing. So I don't know, I thought it was awesome. So this is one of the few times where I actually got down low and got like a low angle on the group. Um, being a fish, I was really easy to get the whole group in one shot. I was pretty close to them. Uh, I think this is Warhammer? If you know, let me know in the comments. I think this is Warhammer, I'm not sure. Uh, once again, this is the kind of shot that if you want to in post, you could probably use uh, the lens distortion fix on it. But if you do so, you'll probably end up uh, pushing in on the shot and losing a lot of the detail on the edges. And finally, the penguin. This guy was great. I just sort of got him on the way out. We were, we were leaving and uh, I saw this guy and I said, hey, let me take a quick shot of you. And, you know, once again, it just shows how much fun you can do with the character photography using a fisheye lens. So that's it. That is the fantastic, fun fisheye lens. I uh, hope you guys like this. Like I said in the beginning, uh, you don't have to specifically buy a fisheye lens, something in the 60mm range. You can get snap-ons and screw-ons. But, you know, this one, if you have a Micro Four Thirds camera, you come here for any of the YI stuff that I was showing. Um, this was really great. It was like 60 bucks online. Um, and I have a link in the description. So, hey, thanks for watching. I hope this uh, gives you some fun ideas for your photography in the future, and I hope you're back soon with more talks and things. If you haven't subscribed and you've got this far, thank you for watching, and please subscribe. And I'll try and bring you guys some more fun talks in the future. If there's anything you guys want me to talk about, leave me a note in the comments, and I'll, I'll see if I can get into it. All right, well, thanks for coming, guys. I appreciate it. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye-bye.